reality. Colorado teachers rank 46 in the country for pay. We're also well below the national average for per student spending. And last night, we took a 360 look at why, despite Colorado's booming economy, public schools are still struggling. And boy, did you respond. Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski is in the studio with this 360, Jen. Shannon and we've done a lot of 360 stories over the past few months, and I have to tell you, we have never seen a response quite like this. Clearly, school funding and teacher pay touches a nerve with you, Colorado, and we're listening. Let's talk about two views that got many of you fired up. First, the perception many people have that teachers get summer vacations and holidays off. While that is true, more context is needed here. Linda sent us this email. I am bothered by the misconception that teachers have paid summer vacations and holidays. That is not the case. Thanks for bringing that up, Linda. The truth is teachers do get holidays off, but they're not paid for them. Most teachers have their annual salary distributed over 12 months, which means that paycheck they get in July is actually for hours worked during the school year. They aren't paid for vacation. Teachers are also not hourly employees, so there's no overtime here. Another opinion we heard over and over again don't like the pay, get a new job. To which Amber responded on Facebook. I am a teacher. I have a master's degree, a national board certification, 13 years experience, and I'm an expert in my field. If I chose to work in another field, I would make twice as much money. However, I choose to educate our children because I am passionate about teaching our children. And Amber, we appreciate that. And lastly, Glenn sent us this thoughtful response. With the aging population whose children have grown up and left home, Tax increases to fund schools will be tough. We need to change the funding source for schools. Now, I can promise you we read every single email that you send in, and they often lead to more stories. So please keep them coming. Now, the email address is 360 at the denverchannel.com. Now, one more thing that I did want to mention. Many of you also asked, what about all the pot money? Wasn't that supposed to go to schools? The short answer is yes but the amount of revenue generated from pot taxes isn't enough to put a real dent in school funding needs. We are working on another 360 story, digging deeper into exactly where all the pot money has gone. So stay tuned for much more on that soon.